I am Marita Di Sovilla, as known as Mom Sovilla. I am your virtual teacher in this second series of Project E-Love. Last time, Sir Derek was one who conducted your lesson here in our virtual realm. What was your topic? Oh, it is all about the music of the medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. At the end of this session, you are able to analyze art elements and principles in the production of work following the style of ancient art, classical art, medieval art. Identify distinct characteristics of arts during the different art periods and its representative artists. Compare the characteristics of artworks produced in the different art periods. Before we are going to start, try to guess the following pictures on what era they belong. Choose either ancient art classical art, and medieval art. Let me check. Are your answers correct? Very good. Now, we are going to discuss the evolution and characteristics of art forms in different periods. From the ancient period, which includes the prehistoric Egyptian art cultures, classical period, where the arts of the Greeks and Romans can be found and to medieval period. Let's start with the ancient period. Under this is the prehistoric and Egyptian era. Ancient period. Prehistoric includes all human existence before the emergence of writing. Their art is of interest not only the art historians, but also to archaeologists and anthropologists, for whom the art is only one clue along the fossils, pollens, and other finds to an understanding of early human life and culture. Their paintings were found inside the caves, which may have been their way of communicating with each other. It may also be for religious or ceremonial purposes. In terms of sculptures, the materials used vary according to region and locality. Archaeologists believe that their sculpture is a result of natural erosion and not of human artistry. Frequently, curving may have mythological or religious significance. Man has developed a form of architecture based on megaliths from the Greek word lithos and megas. This architecture is made of huge stone blocks which were probably intended for burial. Megalithic monuments have always ignited man's imagination. It provides plenty of legends and superstition. During this era, Stones and rocks were associated with divinity. The three main types of megalith stones. One, minir, a huge stone standing vertically on the ground, usually standing in the middle of the field or arranged in rows. Two, dolmens. The word dolmen originated from the expression domain, which means Stone table. These structures are in a form of table consisting of two huge standing stones supporting a horizontal giant stone. It is believed that it served as a grave or as an altar. Third, Kromlek, a Brythonic word where Krom means bent or curved, and Liet, which means slug or flagstones. stones. 
Ancient Egyptian art includes painting, sculpture, architecture, and other forms of art, such as drawings on papyrus created between 3000 BCE and 180. The characteristics of Egyptian art are combination of geometry, regularity, and keen observation of nature. Their arts were classified into three. First, art used in the home furniture, jewelry, musical instruments, and many more. Second, art used in dead homes, mass mummy cases, and wrapping for the body. Third, art was created for gods and their priests and kings in temples, paintings, stages. The purpose of Tom's painting was to create a pleasant afterlife for the dead person with themes such journeying through the afterworld or deities providing protection. Most paintings were highly stylized, symbolic, and shows profile view of an animal or a person. The main colors used were red, black, blue, gold, and green. They can derive from mineral pigments that can withstand strong sunlight without fading. The paintings of the walls on the top shows events of life of the king while he was still on earth and the scenes he expects to encounter in the underworld after his death. The sculptors from the Egyptian era. Symbolic elements were widely used, such as forms, hieroglyphics, relative size, location, materials, color, actions, and gestures. Their tombs required the most extensive use of sculpture. The most common materials used for sculptures are wood, ivory, and stones. Characteristics of sculptures 1. Symbolism were heavily used to represent the gods. They were represented as composite creature with animal heads and human bodies. Relief compositions were arranged in horizontal lines to record an event or represented an action. Third, most of the time, the gods were shown larger than humans, the kings larger than their followers, the dead larger than the living. Four, empty spaces were filled with figures or hieroglyphics. The pharaoh, menkari, and his screen stone. Egyptian architecture. This architectural style was developed during the pre-dynastic period, 4000 BC. Characteristics of Egyptian architecture. First, the structure has thick sloping walls with few openings to obtain stability. Second, the exterior and interior walls along the columns and piers were covered with hieroglyphics and pictorial frescoes and curvings painted on brilliant colors. Third, ornamentations were symbolic including scar, solar disc and vulture, common motifs. Temples were aligned with astronomically significant events like solstices and equinox. Pyramids of Giza it is the most substantial ancient structure of the world. The three pyramids are the funerary structure of the three kings of the fourth dynasty, namely Khufu, Kafa, and Menkara. Mastaba. It is a type of Egyptian tomb in the form of flat roof rectangular structure with outward sloping sides. It was made of mud bricks or stone. Classical period. After the ancient period, the next period that we're going to discuss is the classical period. Under the classical period is the Greek civilization. Ancient Greek
depicts naturalism. They portray human forms in a realistic, anatomically correct manner. Artists have studied anatomy, physics, and optics. It reveals a gross of linear perspective and naturalist representation with very complex detail. Most common method of Greek painting 1. Fresco Method of painting water-based pigments on a freshly applied plaster usually on the wall surfaces. 2. Encaustic Developed to use by Greek ship builders who use the hot wax to fill the cracks of the ship. Soon pigments was added and used to paint a wax pole. Vase painting Kurt style, also referred to as Kurt's vases, a red figured pottery named after the place where it was found. Shapes commonly found are 1. Pelike 2. Nicanes 3. Libis Gamikos 4. Crater Panel painting. There are paintings on flat panels of wood. It can be either a small, single piece or several panels joined together. Most of the panel paintings no longer exist because of its organic composition. Tomb or wall painting. Tomb or wall painting was very popular during the classical period. It uses the method frescoes either tempera or encaustic. It has a sharp, flatly outlined style of painting and because it uses water-based materials, very few simple survive. Greek sculpture. Early Greek sculpture were tense and steep. Their bodies were hidden within enfolding robes. After three centuries of experience, Greek sculptors had finally evolved and showed all the points of human anatomy and proportions. Myron, the Discrobulus. The picture shows an attitude of maximum tension, full of compressed energy, and about to explode an action. In Greek architectures, Temples consisted of a central shrine or room in an aisle surrounded by rows of columns. These buildings were designed in one of three architectural style orders. The Parthenon, the greatest classical temple, ingeniously engineered to correct an optical illusion. The columns were slightly swollen at the center and leaning inward to correct what would otherwise have been an impression of deadness or tough heaviness. Roman art, developed as a new source of artistic creativity much more progressive than the conservative Greek art. The diversity of its form and its variety inspired a modern attitude in art. Most of the paintings in this era were copied or imitated from Hellenic Greek paintings. Fresco technique was used in brightly colored backgrounds. The development of landscape painting is the main innovation of Roman painting from Greek painting. Mosaic. It is an art process where an image is created using assemblage of small pieces of colored glass, stones, or other materials. Roman sculpture. Most Roman sculptures are made of monumental terracotta. They did not attempt to compete with the freestanding Greek works of history or mythology works, but rather 
they produce reliefs in the great Roman triumphal columns with continuous narrative reliefs around. The Porto National Sarcophagus was used for a burial of Roman general involved in the campaign of Marcus Aurelius. It depicts the battle scenes between Romans and Germans. It was curved in marble. Sarcophagus from Cerviteri. It is made of terracotta. It has a length of 6 feet and 7 inches. A husband and wife are shown reclining comfortably as if they were on a couch. Roman architecture, they built sturdy stones, structures, both for use and to perpetuate their glory. The emperors erected huge halls and arenas for public games, baths, and procession. They built them with gigantic arches of stones, bricks, and concrete, or with barrel boats. After the classical period, we have the medieval period. Under this period is the Byzantine, Romanist, and Gothic arts. Byzantine arts was the meeting place for the Greek and Oriental culture. Byzantine painting, the lively styles of paintings which had been invented in Greek and Rome, live on in Byzantium, but this time for Christian subjects. By the 11th century, the Greek and Oriental styles seem to blend together in magnificent, imposing images which adorn the churches in large and small forms. Byzantine sculptors The dominant themes in Byzantine sculptures are religious, everyday life scenes, and motifs from nature. The Barberini did teach An early example of Byzantine ivory work. Byzantine architecture it has a lot in common with early Christian architecture. Mosaic decoration was perfected by the Byzantines as was the use of clerestory to bring light in from high windows. Hagia Sophia means holy wisdom. It narrates how a magnificent construction transformed from being a church into a mosque and what is now known as the Hagia Sophia Museum. One of the biggest domes ever created, with 100 feet in diameter, and because of its grand size, it can still be seen from miles away. Roman style first evolved in the first third of the 12th century. Romanist painting. These are largely placed mosaics on the walls of the churches that follows a strict frontal pose. It has a remarkable variety of artistic traditions such as modeling and treatment of faces and draperies that follow Byzantine convention while refreshingly decorative feeling comes from the southern French styles. It also shows traces of Mozarabi influence through elongated oval faces, large staring eyes, and long noses, figures against flat colored bands and heavy outlining. Christ in Majesty, painting from the Church of the Saint Clement, Tahul. Christ wears a grayish white robe with a blue mantle underneath the mandorla. Romanist sculpture. Some of the famous sculptor pieces are reliquaries, altar frontals, crucifix, and devotional images. Small individual works of art were generally made of costly materials for royal aristocratic patrons. One of the examples of Romanist sculpture is the Last Judgment. Romanist architecture. Romanist architecture displayed solid mansory walls, rounded arches, and mansory vaults.
the basic characteristics of Gothic art styles reinforces symbolic meanings. The church symbolizes the transcendence of the soul, and the underlying philosophy is to create buildings of height and light. Paintings from the Gothic era. Paintings have been confined in the illumination of manuscript pages and the painting of frescoes on the walls of churches. Cosmopolitan style, elegant, mannered, and sophisticated. Stained glass windows were created to transform the vast stone interiors with warm and glowing color and at the same time to instruct Christians in their faith. Gothic sculptors. Gothic sculptors have a greater freedom of style. They no longer lay closely against the wall, but began to project outward. Gothic architecture. This design included two new devices, pointed arch, which enabled builders to construct much higher ceiling walls, and stone vaulting, born on a network of stone beads supported by piers and clustered pillars. This is the Cathedral of Chartres. It has rich architecture and design, splendid stained glass windows, thousands of sculptured figures. That's it. You are now able to identify the art elements and principles in the production of work following the style of ancient art, classical art, medieval art. Compare the characteristics of artworks produced in the different art periods. Different areas, different styles, different characteristics and functions of the arts occurred but all of those contributed in the development and establishing the importance of arts in our lives today. Before I am going to end this lecture, I am inviting you all to visit and follow our Facebook page, Project e Love, because we have posted some virtual pop-ups in these discussions that can be used for easy review of the lesson. Thank you so much! Again, I am Ansorilia. See you again next week.